Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. So I hope you well. Um, but yes, I am a, a couple of days late Capricorn. It was just a ridiculously busy week last week. And I don't particularly like doing these readings off the cuff. It's one of those situations that, you know, you need to make sure that you get the message loud and clear so let's see what we have for you um capricorn what do we have for capricorn for the week please what is the overarching message or energy for capricorn for the week thank you capricorn energy what does capricorn need to hear the most please thank you okay so i've got <laughs> i've got number 19 know you belong and i've got number 16 heed the messengers some message or maybe some message, message or some information is coming to you this week communication heed the messengers or take heed of something let's see what we have what do we have for capricorn please angel spirits guides message for capricorn for the week Yeah, something you want to manifest here. It feels like you want to something that you want to manifest someone where you you see you see yourself belonging. You know, this is where I want to be. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Let's pull three cards and then we'll clarify. Go deep into the message. You know, by now Capricorn, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates for you. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn, please? 12th to the 18th of April, 2021, please. Message for our lovely Capricorns for the week. Five of Pentacles in the challenge position. I like that in the challenge position, it means that it's soon to be released from that. We have the advice from Spirit, yes you are, celebration, the Three of Cups. And the Ten of Swords, yeah. I like it because it's a completion in the near future outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Can we clarify the cards on the table? 12th to the 18th of April, 2021 for Capricorn. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. I'm making them work hard today, Capricorn. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. 12th to the 18th of April, 2021. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah, lovely, 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 the world. I told you it was near completion. Okay, so the Three of Cups, we have the Chariot, Victory. Love it. Ten of Swords, we have the Two of Wands. Bottom, yeah, yeah. Ace of Wands, I mean, this is lovely. <laughs> You're manifesting something here. And the message is not to take your eye off that because I definitely feel something's going to happen. Like I said, there could be some messages or um, it can also be about your own intuitive messages that are steering you in the right direction this week towards this completion, new beginning energy. I love it for this reason. We've got the five of pentacles, which can be about job loss, career loss, business loss, money loss. Um, can also be to do with feeling outcast, rejected, and a feeling of begrudging, they're okay and I'm not. Or some changes in terms of your finances, you know, that make you feel, for the worse, in the sense that you feel the lack, you feel the pinch, you feel the cold here. Um, Capricorn, you are being told, even though, you know, this is a feeling of being absorbed in the negativity, feeling that cold energy you know you are being watched over by the warm energy of the universe in your darkest times and something is about to release it feels this period of 
of feeling this lack is about to be released. I definitely feel for some of you, you might have had changes in terms of your jobs, career, finances, for the worse. And it feels like something is about to complete. The, the ending is in sight here of that. And I, I felt that, you know, when this card came out in the challenge position, because soon there will be a reason to celebrate. Could be some communication here. Um, the chariot is a card of victory, celebration, uh, accomplishment, success. Card of cancer. Interesting, you know, this is Mercury and cancer here. So I definitely feel in this energy there could be some conversations, communication, because this is about the winter is over, the spring is here, where you felt that cold energy, the winter, we are in the spring, interesting, very seasonal as well, but you are reaping the harvest, you are reaping the reward, there is a reason to celebrate here, and it feels very powerful, a cancer could be of influence in your life this week, um, but this is a card of perseverance, willpower, determination, eyes on the prize to victory. And all the time, you know, all along your journey, you know, this is where you've had to overcome any challenges in your internal energy, any external obstacles as well. The chariot is that a very powerful, it feels to do with some kind of turning point here. Um, there's the shift, there's the victory, there's the achievement, there's the success. Um, but it's it's really been a case of you've had to take the reins and go for something and charge for something and charge through obstacles, even in your own internal energy. And all the while you've been watched over by the canopy of the night sky of the universe on that journey. Because there's a feeling here, Capricorn, the Ten of Swords, the feeling of loss will soon be over. You know, this can be about loss again. It feels like some of you have experienced some financial loss, um, career loss. Um, but, you know, there's a new day, a new dawning in the distance, pushing away the dark clouds. Now, yes, this can be about betray betrayal, deep hurt, deep wounds. So call it what you will. But it's a 10, which is the period of darkness is completing. Feeling out of the cold. We are moving from a cold energy to a warmer energy here. Um, and it definitely feels for some of you, you can see it coming. You know, there's an anticipating energy here with this two of wands. This is the beginnings of progress. You know, the beginnings of seeing that completion coming your way. You know, they hold the world in their hands. It's interesting you've got the world, something finally completing. Um, it just feel I just I'm just associating it with that energy. Yes, this can sometimes be a choice card. It might be some choice or decision to make here, but it feels more than anything is you can see it coming. There's the first. It definitely feels for some of you you can anticipate the beginnings of progress on a new path here. And then you know we have the Ace of Wands, which is the opportunity the exciting opportunity, the exciting new beginning. Wow. It just lights you up. And you know, this wand is all about your heart and soul, something you absolutely want to happen. I see myself belonging here. Definitely in this energy, I can see yourself saying that. You know, you might be, you know, meeting. Um, I mean, if you've had meetings with somebody here, some meeting or communication with somebody here, this week, um, yeah, you could have had some kind of, it feels like you want to be, I want to be part of this community. I want to be part of this community. You know, I want to go for this. I want to be part of this community. And there's definitely an energy of the offer, the opportunity being offered to you here. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely energy here, Capricorn. I feel it's to do with money, career, finances, very specifically here because of the cards on the table. Um, and because there's an energy of you belong, you probably have said to somebody, maybe friends, family, 
you know, I can see myself working. I like the people. I feel connected to them. You know, it, it feels like the right place, the right vibe, the right atmosphere for me. You know, it definitely feels in this situation, this is where I absolutely want to be. You know, my tribe, my community, you know, my type of people, my energy, the work and all of this kind of energy. And it, and it is an energy of you can just oh anticipate that it's coming and then it comes. So exciting new beginning, something that's connected to your heart and soul. You know, the wand is a card of action. You, and it's a seed card. It's the beginnings of success. The beginnings of such potential here, you know, that the universe is saying you need to open this door because this is, there is a, well, there is a door opening for you. You know, the hand of God, the universe is opening a door for you and you can just feel that happening. You can suddenly feel the progress of moving from this dark energy to to the future, to the light, you know? And I'm definitely feeling in this energy that there is just this new beginning happening for you. But I'm definitely feeling it's just an opportunity that your heart and soul is telling you that you absolutely belong to, uh, you want. I love it, Capricorn. Yeah, you see, <laughs> army of life. I'm feeling this tribe energy. Uh, you're, you're connecting to some kind of community here and it's just, you feel, it, it is kind of like like-minded souls. Leaf cutter ant, army of life. Ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. But it feels in this energy, you're connecting to people. Uh, yeah, being where you're meant to be, dream weaver, connecting to dreams here, spider, weaving them. Tune into the energy and energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? I feel some of you are on the path to healing, to moving forward here. Yeah, because there's new hope. Wow. It just I just nudged that card. Um, and the star energy is a card of hope, faith, renewal, the path that you are on is a blessed one. I'm excited for you, Capricorn. It feels really exciting. Exciting energy. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy here. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.